No pay raise for teachers, no Medicaid expansion for the uninsured, no deal, but plenty of blame to go around. People should judge uh, Democrats uh, by their actions, or in this case, by their failure to act, uh, not uh, by their words. Republicans can no longer keep their heads buried in the sand when it comes to governing North Carolina. Republicans and Democrats hold dueling news conferences, giving their own version of what went wrong. It's clear that Medicaid expansion is the thing that is holding up the budget. We need to change with the times, and so does the leadership in this General Assembly. The impasse won't shut down the government. The state will continue to operate under last year's budget. Some three dozen states have now expanded Medicaid coverage. The state of Kansas, which has a Democratic governor and a Republican-led legislature just like North Carolina, reached a deal to expand Medicaid last week. Senator, does the situation in Kansas change anything for North Carolina? I, I don't believe so. Uh, I, I know that uh, the folks that have uh, been pushing for Medicaid expansion uh, are now saying that that changes things in North Carolina. I do not believe it does. Uh, Today, Democrats renewed their offer to negotiate teacher pay as a standalone budget item. We pushed Medicaid to the side as a caucus and said, let's do this teacher pay stuff. Let's go ahead. But Republican leaders say education is too big to separate from the budget. It's impossible to negotiate teacher pay all on its own because neither, I'm sorry, because teacher pay is a $5 billion expenditure. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle tell me they're frustrated they couldn't work out a deal. They won't get another chance until spring when they come back to work. In Raleigh, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.